Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part 16 of working with numbers in the operators and methods unit. So we're going to do essentially what we just did with greater than, but this time it's going to be less than and less than or equal to. So we've got two examples, one with an exclusive upper bound, meaning that it must be less than, and one with an inclusive upper bound, meaning that it must be less than or equal to, uh, in order for the expression to be true. So copy this, put it on over in Replit. If we run both of these, we'll see that it is true that 9 is less than 17, and it's also true that 51 is less than or equal to 51. A real-world example of this might be one where we have a amount of fuel needed and then a fuel capacity. So fuel needed to make the trip is 27. The fuel capacity is 30. So the Boolean variable, can make trip without stopping, is going to be equal to whether fuel needed is less than or equal to the fuel capacity, meaning that we need 27 gallons of fuel to make it there, we have 30, provided that that relationship holds, then we can make the trip without stopping. We can also make the trip without stopping in the event that we have exactly as much fuel as we need, because this is the less than or equal to version. But let's say that we needed 130 gallons of fuel, then we can make the trip without stopping is going to be equal to false. So with that in mind, we are going to complete a function that takes in two number parameters, num1 and num2, and returns whether num1 is less than or equal to num2. Your function should create a variable and assign it to the result of comparing num1 to num2 using the less than or equal to operator, then return that variable. Below are examples of the code running. Assuming that you will have completed the described function, apply less than or equal to. Let's go ahead and grab our function stub, grab our test cases, And let's extend this out a little bit so things look a little cleaner. Create a result variable. We can do that. Assign it to an expression comparing if num1 is less than or equal to num2. Then we're going to return the result. So if we run this, we should get true. And then, oh good, true greater than result. Uh, yeah, that's because this is supposed to be there. Uh, to be honest, I've corrected like five typos in this one problem, so you're going to end up seeing this one as well. Excellent. So we have true and false. So let's go ahead and copy this function stub. Sorry, it's not a stub anymore. Let's copy our completed function over to the input window. And if you're anything like me, you are in exhausted shape right now because that was a ton of operators and methods to do for the numbers section. Still, Excellent work making it through. Make sure that you take a break between going on from now to the next one, unless you took a break one problem ago, in which case, maybe press on. But also, breaks are good. You take them often. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one.